be the husband i'm tired of singleness i'm 39 years old very soon i'll enter monopause I need a husband in my life. No matter what you are doing, I'm going to marry you. Are you a baron pusher? Are you a beggar? Are you a conductor? Please marry me. Please, I'm going to sponsor the marriage. I'm going to give you money to pay my bride price. I'm going to sponsor the wedding with my money. Please, come and marry me. I'm tired of singleness. Please. I'm 39 years old. Please come and marry me. I'm getting old. I'm getting old. Please. I need a husband in my life. I need a man in my life. I'm tired of singleness. Please. I don't want to buy myself. I no longer sleep. All my mates are married with kids. But nobody wants to marry me. Nigerians, please. I'm calling everybody out. Please come and marry me. If you have a brother that needs a wife, please let me know. I don't care about what you are doing. I don't care even if you don't have a job. I'm going to sponsor it. I need a man in my life. Please, I'm 39 years old. Look at me. Please, 39 years old without a child. 39 years old without a husband. 39 years old with no... With, with, with no... Hey, Shalom, Shalom. Keep us a sheep. Yasir, back with another lesson. Lord, will this video is edifying. Before we begin, I'd like to first start off by giving all praise, all honor, and all glory to the Most High, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rikakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, Shalom, and Shalom to the hopefully elect. All right, and today's lesson will be titled, The Last Will Be Made First. In these last days okay and as you can see this lesson is inspired uh, by the clip played at the beginning of the lesson with this 39 year old uh, I want to say Nigerian woman okay possibly from the tribe of Judah all right possibly an Israelite woman right anyway this woman is begging for a husband okay she is begging and pleading for someone to marry her all right even even uh offering to sponsor the wedding and sponsor the man okay she said she doesn't care if the man has a job or not right and it's you know it's uh it's given that she understands the times we are in all right she is understanding how valuable it is about to be to have a a man in your household all right how uh, detrimental all right is going to be to have a man of the lord not just any man but you know a man of the lord all right because in the times to come you know the ways that you know the ways of this society the uh social media the twerking the hot girl summers, the uh, OnlyFans, okay, the likes, the shares, uh, you know, things of that nature. These things are not going to keep you, okay. These things are not going to keep you sane. These things are not going to keep you um, in order. All right, keep you alive in these last days, man. And I titled it "The Last We Made First in These Last Days" because. Who has been last? All right. So for so for many years, the Israelite man, so-called Negro, Latino, and Native American man, has been on the bottom, right? Has been put last. You know, we always got the bad end of the stick, right? But not anymore. Okay, the roles are reversing. Okay, women are coming to a realization that you know she was put here to, to be subject to a man. All right, and now realizing the natural order of things. All right, so let's see a couple precepts. Let's see what's the uh, what's the natural order. All right, the Lord said things in, and we'll go to the book of First Corinthians eleven. The book of First Corinthians eleven and one. 
And it reads, be ye followers of me, even as I also am of Hamashiach. Now I praise you, brethren, that ye remember me in all things and keep the ordinance I, as I delivered them to you. Three, this is the point. But I will have you know that the head of every man is Hamashiach. And the head of the woman is the man. And the head of Hamashiach is the most high. All right. So, you know, everyone has to, everyone has a, a, a order, a job, a position. Okay. Uh, uh, a place in this thing, a role. All right. So, you know, see, we, 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 we're supposed to remember these things all right we, we was told you know this was the natural order for things this is how we get to the most high this is how the woman is is able to get to the most high this is, this is how she able to do the work uh of the heavenly father by serving her man by being under her man by being subject to her man this is pleasing to the father and same thing with the man under uh, the lord yahweh shah this is pleasing to the father this is us doing the will this is us you know uh serving the most high all right. So, you know, remember, you know, these things are order. All right. These things, you know, are it. These things are nature. These things are natural. OK, this is this is our it's like a puzzle. OK, and we have a we have a certain spot we're supposed to be at to make the picture clear. All right. So uh, let's see what else we got. But yeah, the, the point, you know, because, you know, understand that in these last days, it'll be it'll be even more clear to understand that, you know, everyone has a job. OK, everyone has a place in a place, a position. All right. Everyone has a purpose. We all serve one another. Ultimately. All right. And uh, let's get eight and nine. Let's get down to eight and nine. This is first Corinthians 11, the same chapter, chapter well, verse 8 in the reads, For the man is not of the woman, but the woman of the man. Neither was the man created for the woman, but the woman for the man. And this woman is coming back to that. The Lord is putting the spirit on certain women to understand that their natural purpose, their natural order, where they should be, their natural state, okay, where they should be in life. All right. You know, as, as he gave us his truth. You know, as he gave us his knowledge and wisdom, his understanding, all right, to, to be where we're supposed to be in this world, all right, in this in this in this walk, in the ministry. All right, he's showing the women the same thing. All right, and then they supposed to be under a man. Okay. Again from the top, first Corinthians eleven and eight, for the man is not of the woman, but the woman of the man. Neither was the man created for the woman. But the woman for the man, the woman was created for the man. All right. Let's see. The, the, the woman, you got to understand, the woman is, uh, she really a part of the man. Okay? She's like an extension of the man. All right. Created for a purpose. All right. And, uh, you know, really, exactly. She's our rib. She, she comes from the man. She's the rib. How did the Lord form Eve from the rib of man? All right. Going back to the book of Genesis. So, you know, and as as an extension, as a part of the man, she has a job. She has she has to be made, made useful. Okay, we use our arms, we use our legs, we use our ears, our eyes. Or right, she's being a part of us. We have to use her, all right, for for whatever purposes is needed in the household, needed in the ministry, all right. So, and you know, so this this society has twisted it. And, and made women think their purpose is get a bag, okay? Be successful, be proud, all right? Twerk, you know, things of that nature. But this is not, this is not the natural order, all right? This is not the natural state of women, okay? A couple more precepts. Let's get out zero, four, and one. And it reads, and in that day, seven women shall take hold of one man, 
saying we will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel. Only let us be called by the name and take away our reproach. And see, that's exactly what's happening in this video. You know, she, this woman is, is pleading out. You know, she just want to be married. She's, she just is saying in, in that day, again, from the top, so like Isaiah 4 and 1, and that day, seven women shall take hold of one man saying, we will eat our own bread. What this woman said, I will sponsor the wedding. I will sponsor you. You don't even have to have a job. It says, and wear our own apparel. Only let us be called by thy name to take away our reproach. Right? So it's, it's, it's almost a shameful thing not to be married, not to be under the man. These things are coming back into, in, into play. Okay? And every woman, every woman is gonna be is gonna want to be under a man, a man of the Lord. That's why I said seven women, not literal seven, just a, a complete number of women, whatever, whatever is fit for that man. Right. And that day seven women should take hold of one man. All right. Saying we will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel. Only let us be called by thy name. This is a great example. All right. To take away our reproaches. This video is a great example of Isaiah four and one. I may change the title to that. All right. Isaiah four and one coming to pass. Right. Cause that's exactly what it is. All right, I want to get Isaiah 13 and 11. All right, Isaiah 13 and 11, and it reads, And I will punish the world for their evil and the wicked for their iniquity. I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease they will lay low the haughtiness of the terrible, and I will lay low the haughtiness of the terrible. I will make a man more precious than fine gold, even a man than the golden wedge of Ophir. Okay? So, just as you can see, these are the times we're heading in. It. The Lord is, he said, I will punish the world for their evil. That's what the Lord is doing. He's punishing the world. All right, as we see it through, you know, uh, hurricanes, tornadoes. Okay, uh, pestilence, sword, wars. Okay, and I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease, the, and will lay low the haughtiness of the terrible. So, all those big mighty men of the world, all right, they won't be mighty real soon. All the rich and proud won't be rich and proud real soon. All right, he's taking everyone out of position and putting them where they exactly go and building up the Israelite man. All right, he's putting everybody in their uh ordained position all right putting them in their in their uh in their spots in their places okay it says i will make a man and not just any man an israelite man a man of the lord all right more precious than fine gold even a man more than the golden wedge of ophir all right so the man is gonna be an israelite man a man of the lord will be the most precious thing out here the most valuable thing the MVP, all right? See, this world, you got to understand, this world is going down, but we are coming up, all right? Roughly paraphrasing, Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth, all right? So, hey, man, Lord, where this video was edifying. Again, until next time, I'd like to close out by giving all praise, all honor, and all glory to the Most High. Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rakakwadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of the great millstone. Shalom, and shalom to the whole free leg. Shalom.